This problem introduces us to kinetic energy. This is the amount of energy that an object has from its motion. The more velocity and mass that you have, the higher your kinetic energy will be. The first thing we want to do in this problem is to find the percentage of kinetic energy lost when an object runs into the wall. The formula for kinetic energy is one half mv squared. After it hits the wall, it has one half of its original velocity. Since the one half is squared, the object will have a quarter of its initial energy. This means that 75% of its energy is lost when the velocity is cut in half. In part b, we want to find the amount of energy lost during the collision. The change in kinetic energy is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial. We expand our equation to include our variables. We factor out the one half m and have the equation for finding the change in an object's kinetic energy. We input our values and find the change in kinetic energy to be negative 7.5 joules. Energy is also a scalar quantity. The negative sign means that energy is lost and a positive sign will mean that energy is gained.